Text me and I'll text you back. Text me and I'll text you back. You text me and I'll text you back. You text me and I'll text you back. You text me and I'll text you back. Tip top, you don't stop. I will help you make your paper stack. Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Where you at now? 205-964-524-39, you know. Good afternoon and welcome to May 16th on today's um, live stream. We're here to talk about real estate investing with a strong emphasis on wholesaling real estate where your cash or credit uh, does not matter. Um, low risk, high reward opportunity that uh, we all like to encounter. So here's your opportunity to get some game, get your question answered. You on TikTok and Instagram, all you have to do is just tap the link in my bio, um, on my bio, in my bio. Which one is it? On it, in it, on it. In. In my bio I'll and uh, on it, can, in it. Um, and it'll take you right over there to the channel and you can learn everything for free. It's right there, baby. All right. So um, if, <laughs> if, if, <laughs> if you... Um, um want to drive uh join us on the live stream um and get your questions answered for free you have your own personal seminar text the word uh gator uh to the number and the ones that are complaining you need to text the word gator baby text the word gator you can join the live stream and follow the instructions there um the paperwork this is your superpower in this business, understanding the paperwork and getting access to it. Guess what? Your boy got you. So you can get uh, free access to the contract that I've been using since 2003 and um, been given away since 2008 to many, many people all over the country. So this will work in your city, guaranteed. So text the word contract. If you text the word contract to this number, and you and you and I get a message back say, well, I can't access the contract. You know what that means? You didn't watch the video because I make it very clear what to do to access the contract. <laughs> don't read, don't read. Um, I'm one of them. Don't I'm talking but crazy. <laughs> I said, learn how to read. <laughs> I ain't say, yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, my boy, fourteen, he should know how to read by now. You got to at least use that tool. Um, if you want to contract for um, land, 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 Lord, 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 land, 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 earth, text the word earth, planet earth. All right. Um, the reason that um, most people fail in this business because they never figure out what a great deal is. Text GD to this number, 205-964-5243. And uh, that video will explain how um, it all works, putting it get, uh, understanding whether you have an opportunity or not. We're all about saving time, guys. Don't you want to save time? Don't want to waste time on stuff, stuff that has no chance of being a deal? If it does, nothing else it does that. Text ARV. That's a follow-up video that's needed on that. Going back to land, um, if you want more information on how to do that, text MUD. You can get access to the script used when you're talking to landowners so you'll know the lingo along with how to build list for land. Got a really, really good interview coming up in the next week or so with some cast that came up with a tool to help you evaluate land. Can't wait. Can't wait to um, get those guys online and um, let you uh, start using it also. Um, you want to partner with me on houses? We're still getting down like that. Text 5050 to the number and um, follow the instructions there. Okay, enough of that. For, oh, one last thing. My man Greg, he the one recommended this. He said, well, if I had to text the uh, keywords in order to uh, somewhat get a step-by-step -step on the videos, and I gave it to him, so I guess what? I came up with a better way of doing it. So just text VIP to the number. And uh, those videos, those first nine videos are going to take you in the order of basically how the business works. All right. Um, everyone on YouTube is saying hello. Um, 
Somebody said the song so lit it makes me dance. <laughs> um, you all to hear the original. <laughs> uh, Ebony Newell said hello. I want to know how to get started. <sighs> Boom! Mm-hmm. Takes the word VIP. Um, this um, set of videos, this playlist, is going to uh, take you in the order of getting you started. Uh, you're going to start with educating yourself. When you educate yourself, something magical happens. You'll know what to do. All right. Um, this one came from Terrence. He wants to know, can he get a motivated sellers list? Can you get a motivated sellers list? Ken, does a motivated sellers list exist? What do you think about that, Ken? Ken? Well, I got these things. No, we don't have that. Yeah, it's really no such thing as a motivated sellers list, right? Only thing you can do is increase the odds, <laughs> increase the odds of someone being motivated to sell. So first thing you have to do is target people that own real estate. One. Next thing is how many of those people that you reach out to or reach out to you because they've seen a message of theirs actually want to sell. Two. I'm on three. I'm on three. <laughs> whatever number I'm on next um, um, how many of those people that do want to sell want to sell cheaply those are your motivated sellers I wish uh, what was his name uh, Terrence mm-hmm. it was a list I can just send you say he, all these people motivate to sell that a price is going to work for you Yeah, I'll be a billionaire in the morning this is the that's the bread and butter of this whole thing that's the bread and butter of this whole thing how effective are you are finding those people that are motivated to sell cheap? Mm-hmm. Huh? Do they? And you know what? Some people still wouldn't be happy. <laughs> you would be amazed. <laughs> you would be amazed. Why he ain't giving more? Oh my God. All right. This one came from Michael on YouTube. He said, Hey, Footman, I'm 19 with 45K. I need help finding a personal loan with high approves. I tried Wells Fargo, but got denied because I only have one year and six months. Um, I need the personal loan for a flip. So you got, <laughs> all right, so my boy got $45,000, $45,000 to invest. My man, forget HGTV, right? You have $45,000 leverage about only 5,000 of that mm. and start wholesaling and turn that 45,000 into 450,000 by the end of the year. Let what you're trying to do go, right? That fix and flip. The better return is wholesaling. You can do properties, you can do deals all over the country. You can't do that with a fix and flip. Not with $45,000, not with 450,000. So you gotta be there. Or have someone you really, really trust being there. You're in the right place. Let that dream go that you're trying to do. I'm telling you. you if you don't listen to you'll be them blew that four to five thousand dollars. Unless you already know what you're doing. You say 19, unless you're already a contractor, you grew up in that world, you know how to fix houses, let that dream go. If if you did do that, then okay, then you might want to pursue it. If you know how to renovate houses. And so, okay, then maybe you got something. But if you don't, oh, let that go. I don't know how you came up with that forty-five grand. My hats off to you if you get, for doing whatever. What, whatever you did to do that, you might need to keep doing that. But get this, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> now it was a gift or so. Okay, different conversation. But if you actually have made that money, you're 19. Oh, let you assuming it's legal. We don't assume that, you right? Okay. Mind your business. Yeah, so you need to keep doing what you're doing. All right, this is on Instagram. Is it a good idea to have an LLC when wholesaling the house to look um, more professional? Well, you're running a business. At some point early on, you need. You don't need one to start, but at some point early on, you need an LLC because you are running a business, and the benefits that come with that. So. All right. Um, I guess there's a follow-up. I should have read this when we read Terrence's question earlier. 
Um, he said, I have a cash buyer, but I can't get sellers. It's a tight market, and I'm not and I'm not gonna do anything illegal, just real estate. Who is this? Um Terrence. He was the one who asked for the motivated sellers list. Okay. I have a cash buyer, but I cannot get sellers tight, tight market. And I'm going not going to do anything illegal, just real estate. I don't know what the legal part come in at on that, but um is that illegal? Yeah, I'm saying I don't know what the illegal part of it coming on. Yeah, I don't want to go there where else. No, no, we don't we don't want you to. You, know, <laughs> right. you don't have to do that. You're smart enough to do that, you can do this. Um, um I'm trying to I have a cash buyer. Well, see, you just have one cash buyer. That's okay, that's good. All right. Um, you're probably looking in places just online because that's appears to be what's easy to do. It's gonna be very difficult to find a deal like that. Not saying it's impossible, but it's very difficult to find it. It's kind of hard to find a deal, period. But it's online, you're you're in you're in there with the rest of the crabs. Yeah. Right? The easier deals, trust me, are the ones that are not for sale until they either see a message of yours or receive some type of message or correspondent from you. Mm -hmm. Is that the right word? Correspondent. Mm -hmm. Look at that boy. <laughs> vocabulary mm -hmm. all right this one came from lynn i believe uh she said hey flip man should i use bandit signs to build a cash buyer's list and should i always tell buyers i'm wholesaling uh okay uh lynn welcome aboard um yes you can use bandit signs to uh find buyers cash buyers for your properties and yes when you have that conversation with them you let them know that you're a wholesaler those that don't want to deal with you, S them. S C R E W. E M S C R E W Ken. E M. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> oh that must Look, Big Kim. <laughs> 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 No, no, I ain't hear nobody say that in a long time. Right, me too. Okay. Um, let's see. I told y'all off. <laughs> this is <just> says. <laughs> <laughs> this was. I didn't say that. <laughs> yes, you I, I ain't saying what the point. It was. I just said at some point, what they teach don't matter no more. Tyler from YouTube said, I DK if this is a good idea, but I found but I find ARV by finding the average of the same house on multiple real estate sites. Does that work well? Um Tyler, you okay, so he's saying the way he uh comes up with an ARV is uh, through multiple sites. That's that's a decent way of doing it because you're comparing apples to apples in a lot of situations there. So um because you may you may compare on Zillow what they're saying their estimate is Realtor.com you may compare um, what else out there Trulia with Trulia and Zillow Zillow same outfit basically the free one. Um, mm -hmm. the free one. yeah that is it, it that's it you know what I'm saying so um, what's another good site um, I think in Texas H A R pulls up H A R dot com so they'll throw out a value there um, with we got homes.com. It seems like it didn't come up in the search results as, as much as they used to. We got home snap. Um, those are some of the free sites out there. They got an owner, owner, ownerly out there now that I've noticed. So, yeah, you could compare through those. And Redfin, of course, I'm sorry. You could compare and come up with a number from there. Ideally, you want to dig into those uh, comps, though, and try to find something as close to your property as far as distance, size, it's been uh, either well-maintained well maintained, or renovated, recently renovated. And uh, what else am I looking for? Uh, and within a certain time frame of it being sold. And you can do that with Zillow. You can dive into the actual map there on Zillow and look at sold properties. If you go, if you uh, do a search on YouTube for Comps 101 flip man, Jamil, uh, Demji and I uh, did like 40 plus episodes of that. And, and and he did most of the comping. So he used Zillow a lot there. 
All right, this is on um, TikTok. So if I borrow 5,000 of my 401k, um, ground up, how, so, how do I start wholesaling? Well, if you did that, um, what I would recommend, you just have to educate yourself. And what what the, the 5,000, when I say educate yourself, obviously that's a given, but you need a source to do that. So I give that away. So what you'll figure out after consuming enough of my content, and I guess all this, but my content, I, I know I give it all away, um, is the business is going to boil down to how effective are you at talking to people that own real estate? They call those leads. The money is being spent to get those people <coughs> to contact you, either you calling them or them calling them, then sending you an email, them sending you a text, email, you know, direct mail. That's what that money would be used for. In reality, you probably want to probably have to use about two grand of it before you got to a deal. In reality, if done correctly, you know, you can always screw up some money or whatever, not doing things probably, but about two grand of you, 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 you should be able to do a deal and never have to touch the rest of it again and, and get the two grand back. All right. This is also on TikTok. Are you going to do an updated video for batch texting since they added a third party number? Uh, yeah, I need to do one bad. Yes, I do. Okay. Back to Instagram, I've come across a gas station that went out of business a few months ago here in Greensville, South Carolina. I don't know, I don't have it under contract yet, but I don't know how to find the comps, commercial advice or JV. Speaking of that, a commercial property, you know where the, um, just go in, you know, the Walmart and World Book. Mm -hmm. Okay, you probably haven't noticed, but when you go back through there um, anytime soon, Across the street, there used to be what used to be there was it a Quincy's or um, what was the last the thing? neighborhood Walmart? Or the, no, the the, the, the main the super center. It was uh, the Applebee's or something. No, 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 not 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 not, not the uh, not the Ruben Tuesdays that and it's a uh -huh. medical center now. I'm talking about the, it. So you got rope. What is that rope up? What is that rope up partway to run in front of it? Oh, you're talking about by Huffman. Yeah, that's yeah. all. Yeah, that's okay, yeah. No, 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 no. You talking like about the, the Milo's across from uh, the Walmart Super Center? Yeah, yeah, but but back to going to our Birmingham a little bit more. Well, some apartment. I mean, what used to be like a hotel or motel. So. No, nah, you two, you know, keep going back to some more. It, it's it's like you know where the Star they had to ask they had the Starbucks mm -hmm. there mm -hmm. directly across from that, but across the street though, not in that plaza. But if you if you walked out of Starbucks I, okay, door, yeah. you look right yeah. across. Mm -hmm. Okay, now they're doing some construction there. Mm -hmm. I actually, now this is about, about three years ago. I actually had that property on the contract. They mm -hmm. just now selling that property. They yeah. sold they, they sold it back in September for $750,000. I knew that was a goal. And I, what I should have yeah. did was, is, no, 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 no. I should have actually just put that under contract and and did some owner finance if they were owner financing on it or something. Mm -hmm. I knew somebody was gonna buy. It. They 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 didn't go down on their price though. They sold it for I think I think I had it on the contract for seven fifty. I they, know I they did boys. not go down on their price. They sold it for seven fifty. Oh, I would think they went up since it's been three years now. Right. All them boys will be washing cars out there. That's over with. They out there doing. They punching they, the air they right digging now. dirt out there now. Shoveling yeah, when the ground. Because the food trucks used to be out there. Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. People used to park there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Huh. You, you know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, right there. Yeah. Um, but anyway, what what's the question? What was the question here? About a gas station or something? Yeah, they have a uh he came across a gas station in Greensville, um, South Carolina. They want to put it in the country, but they haven't yet. They want to know how to find the comps. So they asking for advice or JV. You know. Um, well see, you see uh, you say it's gas station. What's next door? Dude, that's the first thing I'm gonna want. What's on the left? What's on the right? It's probably on the corner. So what's the direct across the street? That'll tell a lot. Okay. Um, this is a good one. It's kind of about, it's about like generating leads. Um, they said, I just want to get info on getting motivated sellers to call me. How can I get that rolling so I can start rolling? I already have cash buyers on call right now. 
Okay, so he's uh uh Jameer. Mr. Jordan. Mr. Jordan mm -hmm. uh just wants to get info and get him motivated sellers calling me. Well, that's why I talk about band signs. That's why I'm talking about calling cold calling where you calling them, or text messaging, or direct mail, or Google Fate uh, uh Facebook ads, Instagram ads, TikTok ads, what else? YouTube pre-rolls. All of that stuff is to get them to call you. Google AdWords, if I didn't say that. All of that is to get a sellers either calling them or you being proactive and you reaching out to them. That's, that's why I talk about all these methods. I, 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 I guess I just assume people being consumed a lot of my content. I guess that'd be my issue. Well, they could be new. I know what I'm saying. I, I'm, I'm, I assume too much. Yeah. Or whatever. If I talk about that stuff, we literally talk about it every day. Every day. Yeah. Well, they seem new. I've never seen his name. I, I ain't never seen his name either. I'm, 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 I'm tripping. Give him some, some space. All right. Um, This one came from Kyla Cooley. Um, it's, It says, I'm having a hard time contacting people after finding abandoned houses. I found houses all the time. I can't find the owners to save my life. What can I do to get more promising contact info? Okay, uh, Kyla? Sure. Okay. Um, you would have to first let me know what are you using to find these numbers? If you're using PropStream or Skip Vault or Batch Leads, any of those tools, then okay. All right. Next thing I would do, if none of those are working for you, try go ask asking the neighbors. All right. Next thing, if that doesn't work out for you, send them something in the mail, send direct mail. Um, when, when driving for dollars or finding vacant, vacant houses like that, um, you, that number probably is less than 100. Um, then I would probably send it some form of special delivery, maybe through FedEx or UPS. Should cost you under ten dollars a buck. So I'm not gonna send ten, um, a hundred of these out to ten people. That's a thousand bucks. Is that right? Yeah, that's a thousand bucks. Mm -hmm. So don't do that. Do what you can afford. All right, I'm gonna read one more question, then I'm gonna add um, ambitious REI to the chat. So this is from Alex. He said, "I'm in contact with the seller with 36 acres of land oh, in New York for 99k, but wants to know if I can get a buyer quick." How do you comp land? Uh, yeah, as I was just uh, mentioned a moment, you say you got 36 acres in New York uh, for $99,000. How do you comp land? He wants to know if that's a good deal or not. No way to know that that is or not. Mm -hmm. That's, uh, what is that, three, uh, what is that, 3,000 an acre? Or am I wrong on that? Um, what is that? Um, 99,000, 99,000 divided by 36. Yeah, I, I was wrong. 2750 an acre, 2750 dollars an acre. Hmm, interesting. Um, well, sort of hard to just to explain how you can comp land, but you can, in some cases, a lot of cases, you can use sites like Zillow and compare the properties that have sold and the properties that are currently for sale. If you're looking at the ones for, that have sold, sometimes the acreage may not be exactly as yours. And that's some other factors that go into it. Is it in, is some, does it have wetlands? Does it, is it in a flood zone? Um, is it level or there a slope or mountains? Is there timber? Are there utilities uh, ever there before? Is there road access or not? All that stuff will factor in. And when you're comparing somewhat likes to likes, the closer to your property that you can find something, the better idea you can, you can figure out what are they selling it for per acre. As I just did, what I did was I took 99,000 and divided 36 acres into it to come up, they're, come up with they're trying to sell it for $2,750 per acre. So even if you find five acres that sold and they sold for, I don't know, um, we'll just say it, um, 5,000 acres. So that's $25,000. So that means if you can get this 99 acres, uh, you may be able to sell those at 4,000 acre and took it up. I don't know, put, um, what would that be? Um, maybe five grand in your pocket. I don't know what the difference in the math is, but I'm just saying 
So the difference would be, so you, you, you would have to just break it back down to what is sold for price per acre. But as I mentioned earlier, next week, should be next week if everything goes well, I'll have a solution for that for you guys that I think is a pretty good tool for it. Now you can actually comp laying in prop stream if you know what you're looking for. And I'm also, I'll do a video on that. Also, I'll try to do it in batch also if I can. Um, but you just have to know what you're looking for. It, it's it's, uh, it's different. <laughs> it's different than how it is for sure. Um, yeah. All right. This question is coming from TikTok. How do I adjust the ARV when the appliances are old? You, you say what now? How do I adjust the ARV when the appliances are old? Oh, that won't make a difference. It has nothing to do with value. That, that, that won't make a difference. That's just an amenity. It may, may make it more. I don't even know what you're talking about. You're talking about the house that you're looking at or the house that you're comping. It, it really doesn't make a difference. It's more of an amenity. If it's the house that you're comping, a new renovation, I said they got to have new appliances. It's not necessary, but it doesn't hurt none. Oh, well, they're just an amenity. It doesn't really give any value. It just may make it more attractive for someone to take a look at it. All right. Um, this one came from Barbara Boggs on YouTube. She said, I sent the deal to Flipman today. Will he be able to JV with me? Uh, yeah. Um, Ms. Boggs, um, I'll try to remember your name when we look at that info. Yeah, he'll get back to you. Um, this one came from Evelyn. She said, I already have prop stream. Do I have to cancel it and then sign up under your prop stream in order to use the tools online? Um, <clears throat> say it again. I already have prop stream. Do I have to cancel and then sign up under your prop stream in order to use the tools online? Um, just just text me on that. I don't just want to put out there the instructions on that. Just text me on that, and we'll give you the instructions on how to do that if you want. If that's even an, it may not be an option, but if if it's an option, we'll we'll see if we can get you hooked up, Miss Bar, Miss uh, Evelyn. All right, this one came from Deontay. I think I'm saying that right. He says I have a deal under contract, and I would like to know if you could JV with me on the property. I need an end buyer. Uh yeah. Um, five zero five zero five zero five zero. Let's see. Um. Let's see. This one says, do you have a contract for self storages? I need help, brother. Do you have a contract for self storage? I need help, brother. Okay, so he needs a contract for self storage. Um, that's just a, well, I guess you could have some more specific for self storage, but um, a general, uh, um, it just depends on how big the property is too, that factor is. Ideally, um, that's just a Google search away in reality. Mm -hmm. Find a template that you're comfortable with. Um, I generally like to look for something as short as possible. If I was looking for a new template on something like that, or at the end of the day, what you could do is um, you find a commercial real estate uh, broker. I mean, I'm sorry, attorney and uh, get them to draw you up one. It may cost you $500 or so, and now you can use it over and over again. Okay. Um, this one says, hello, Flipman. Possibly. You can use it m multiple times. I don't know if you get over it. But mm -hmm. Some situation may dictate something different. But yeah. Change of the verbiage. Yes. Um, this one says, uh, hello, Flipman. I've been watching and taking in all the info you have to give, um, but I'm moving slow. I should hit the ground running real soon. All the content is real helpful. Thank you. No problem at all. Um, I'm glad it, it helps. Hold on. On this one, I'm not sure if he's saying that. Uh, he says, I have too many cash buyers, but not enough buyers. I think he means properties. I have too many cash buyers and not enough properties. What can he do? Yeah. Um, you got to um, either do a, a couple of things. Uh, do some 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 big time networking with other wholesalers and feed them 
uh, feed your buyers their deals. Obviously, you're going to make money on it too. And or you need to start to generate leads, uh, marketing and advertising your your uh, keister off. You know, exactly. again, that's why we talk about driving for dollars, bandit signs, direct mail, cold calling, text messaging, um, Google AdWords, Facebook ads, co well, I said co wholesaler. So marketing, marketing, marketing. If Walmart is probably nearly worth a trillion dollars, right? And if they stop advertising, they probably still could be profitable, right? At this point, yeah. yeah. They could probably stop advertising and still yeah. be profitable. But guess what? They're not. If a company is worth nearly a trillion dollars, Phil, they need to advertise their business. Guess what you need to be doing? He said he spends 10K in advertising. He's spending 10K a month and not getting any deals? You ain't doing the right stuff. Yeah. Man. Man. Probably for what area yeah, you need. 10K. Oh, my God. You need to do some research and see, like, what stuff is working. Oh, you spend Or, like, what... <laughs> It depends. You spend that. No, I know that. I'm All just right. saying. Hey. You're doing something right somewhere. <laughs> yeah. You got the way to oh, just spend till you came like that. Yeah. Maybe yeah, you well, need I'm to see, to... like, what's getting the most attention and focus more on that or, like, something. Yeah. Uh, I would love to know what you're spending that 10K on. Mm hmm He said he's in five states. And you're not finding deals? Then you're not finding, yeah. You're doing something wrong. Yeah, you may be spread too thin. Mm -hmm. 10K, 10K is not a lot for, well, it depends on what you're doing. I mean, let me back up. What are you doing? Because 10K is, may not be a, not a lot for five states. Mm -hmm. You know, it just depends on what you're doing. I know it's about to need to be. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, this is on TikTok. This person asks, I've just got licensed. How can I leverage? How can I leverage it to make the most money in a wholesale deal? In my wholesale deal. Okay, someone said they just got licensed, so they just became a real estate agent, a broker, whatever it is titled in their state. All right, so um, keep your investor mindset first, and you just so so happen to have a real estate license. You need to you need to do just what we were just saying. You need to be marketing your butt off, right? And see, the advantage that you're going to have is if you're generating a lot of leads, which it takes a lot of leads to get the deals, some of those will turn into listings for you. But that's just a byproduct of you doing your marketing, uh, you know, uh, trying to get the bigger deals, wholesale deals. So those are just turning to, to, um, to listings. So you can still continue to eat and feed your business for the bigger paydays on wholesaling. So you'll just cherry pick the ones you want to list. You want to list if they're interested, obviously. Um, so that's, you know, that's the advantage of being an agent. And but you're a wholesaler slash investor first. You just happen to have a real estate license. So you still got to market your butt off, whether if you were just going to be a real estate agent, one thing you're going to do in real estate investing, you need to be just marketing your butt. Off. A lot of you just base their entire business off of networking. And some of them do very well that way. But the ones that are normally killing it. You know, on the whole nother level, they market their butts off. Mm -hmm. All right. So um, just following up, Derek said that he does radio, Facebook, TV, letters, uh, and bandit uh, signs. Two, two of them. Well, I can see where your money going. Radio and TV. Radio and TV. Stop. Call it's your very expensive. Call the call your um <clears throat> what's the name? What they call them, Justin? Your account representative mm -hmm. at the TV and radio station, tell them to stop those ads immediately and start spending more money on Google AdWords. Take all that money you're spending in TV and radio and spend in Google AdWords. Now, there's a method to the madness. You need to know what you're doing, but stop the TV and radio immediately. Oh, I wonder, do you get any um like hits from TV and radio? Huh? I wonder how many hits you get from I don't know. I, yeah, I would love to know how many leads are you generating from the TV. Hopefully you got your, your marketing set up differently as far as the phone number or websites yeah. or whatever where you can tell where the leads are coming in. But I don't care what they're doing. Stop it because they're overpriced. You said TV is different branding. 
Screw that. Well, that what's if the, you want to be a famous yeah, yeah, flipper, yeah, yeah. then you yeah. Want but if you want to flip you houses, you want to make no. money, you want to look good on TV. Which yeah. one is it? Right? Well, I mean, you might not have your face on. I'm just tripping about that. But I'm just saying, no, man. TV is not good for nah. branding. That's 1990. Yeah. No, you want a brand. You want a brand where the eyeballs are at, man. Online, in the so social media, uh, YouTube pre work rows, Facebook ads, TikTok ads. Um, Google AdWords, that's where the eyeballs are at. Mm -hmm. People always have this in, with them. They don't have the TV always with them. They have this with them all the time. Yeah. <laughs> I'm getting this from Gary Vee. This ain't me talking. <laughs> I, I, this is what, hey, call those account reps today and tell them to stop those ads and, re and refund your money. The rest of it, because normally you pay you pay up front for X number of, of ads. And don't let them talk you out of it. I'm telling you, you're wasting your money. Ask Tyrone how he knows. Mm -hmm. I know that's the first problem you have right there. Well, okay. He said that, um, and I think he means like low quality houses come from Facebook bandit signs and letters and the high quality ones come from TV. But you say you're not doing any deals. That's what you said. Yeah. And the Facebook ad, that means you're doing something wrong with your targeting. Now, if you're running it yourself, maybe you know what you're doing or whatever. Mm -hmm. But normally it's your, your targeting. You know, what what are you wh what's in the ad? Maybe to hone in on what who's in the ad. Well, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I can just tell you from personal experience. I haven't having myself in the ad is not a good idea. I spent a lot of money figuring that out. I don't need to be in the ad. Oh, that only going, I don't need to be in the ad. Let me just say that. <laughs> I the person that um um that I work with to get me going in the right direction on Facebook suggested I be in the ad. I don't need to be in the ad. I don't want no interpretations, however you want to put it. Yeah. We're also in Alabama. So whatever. That's part of it. <laughs> whatever. We're keeping it real. Yeah. We in the deep south. Um, okay. Hold on. I want to read one of these and then I'm gonna add um the person in the chat to the thing. Um, this one says, Can I get a property under contract through my LLC and then sell the contract to myself if if it gets a mortgage? If I get a mortgage. Um, yeah, you but you uh, a lender. Uh, a traditional lender may not let you do that. A hard money or private lender may let you do that. I actually used to do that. Mm. I would uh, wholesale it to my, to my what's the name? You know, so it's still the same. You, thing. you still got to pay it back, regardless of who is being home. You still got to pay it back. You know mm. what I'm saying? It just allows you to get some upfront money. Say what now? I was about to say, did you say the traditional lender don't? Uh, I say I don't know. I I, I would assume that they won. It just and a lot of times just being on a relationship, you know how just how strong you are financially, obviously credit wise or whatever. So okay, all right. Let me go ahead and end. Yeah, let me take this off. What's up? What's going on? With Oh, I'm I, I, I ain't, I ain't recognize it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I had, I had grown a beard. Oh, okay, okay. What's happening, man? Man, not nothing. Just high niche. Oh, okay, all right, all right. How, how everybody doing? Oh, we're good. We're good. Yeah. We're good. Yeah, this this my um part of the team right here. Uh, helps with the uh, our banner signs out here. What's up, y'all? Yes, sir. Well, a big C. Yesterday. You ain't pick him up. Nah, I'm gonna pick him up tomorrow. Oh, okay, all right. Got a yeah, I've been. Uh, got, a um, got a question for everyone? Maybe uh, no, I don't have any questions. I just wanted to speak or whatever. All right, all right, all right, cool. All right, all right. All right. Well, just holler at me. I will. All right, my man. All right. Yep. Yes, sir. Okay, let me put this back on. Okay, do you have some? Mm -hmm. Well, we already kind of answered that, but anyway, um, I'm gonna just 
Anyway, this is on TikTok. So what's the best way to find a cash buyer? I didn't even recognize LaBrie, but they grew a beard. I you know, we said that last time he came in. Yeah, he came in. I don't think he was here. I wasn't here? Okay. I don't know. I don't know if no, he was. he wasn't. He had just stopped in to go get the bonfire. Okay, mm-hmm. okay. I need to watch him. Um, what, what you saying there? I think you already answered this, but I'm going to ask it again. This is on um, TikTok. What's the best way to find a cash buyer? Well, we saw that. People just been saying they had them. These folks said they got them. Uh-huh. They need to ask them. <laughs> <laughs> you be throwing shade. <laughs> uh, uh-huh. Okay. So how to find a cash buyer. Um, now, um, <laughs> No, nah, I don't want the. I know it's gonna come. It's gonna. Yeah, he probably, don't like the noise. It's probably about to come on. Oh, it's seventy. Oh, seventy. And it is seventy. It's probably gonna go up one more degrees. Mm-hmm. So, um, anyway, uh, find cash buyers. Well, um, right here. You want me to push it up? Yeah, push it up. So we don't want it to come on. I'm about to cook up here, but whatever. It feels <laughs> Oh my God. You already got me sick. Oh, I feel great today. Well, I was terrible last week. Uh, yeah, text the word buyers. This is one way, right? Uh, this shows you how to leverage real estate agents anywhere in the country. But you could also find buyers through having great deals and marketing that great deal. Mm-hmm. When I say marketing, Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, other wholesalers, signs out in the area. Um, you can only sell it to one person, but you may have 10 people interested. Those nine other individuals, seven of those may be real cash buyers. So you'll collect their information for, for future deals, what areas they like to buy in, what price range, uh, minimum beds and baths they like to deal with, minimum level repairs they like to deal with, how many do they buy per month. Obviously, their contact info. Okay, that's another way. So I uh, just told you the other ways. Facebook Marketplace, um, Facebook Groups, Craigslist, banning signs out in the area, do a Google search, sell my house fast, whatever the name of the city is. And um, those first two or three pages of results are normally going to be buyers in that area or these are real wholesalers in that area. Mm-hmm. Um, and I showed you the one here for the realtor. So, boom. All right, this is also on TikTok. So when I'm choosing the one, um, the ones to list, how do I start that combo? If I already approached, if I already approached them as an investor, I don't understand. You don't think? I don't know. Maybe like. Re- please seller. rephrase that for us. I, I don't. Yeah, I should have just read that first. Um, and then also somebody just added. It wasn't a question. They just said, "Look, man, with the first wholesaler." Uh, Wholesale, of course, I heard it seven years ago. Salute to the king. They, they he said, ain't heard nothing. He they said Flip Man was the first. Yes, I did. They said Flip Man was the first person I listened to with the whole seven, seven years ago. Yeah. Ah, yeah. see that? <laughs> Jesus. I you know we on, on, said, on, on, on tape, right? right? Read for what we stopped at. Jesus. I might have gone up and get my palate. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know. No, no detention office. The office right there. <laughs> the classroom right in front of everybody else. <laughs> All right. Um, this one came from Staples Property Acquisitions. He said, Flip, I spoke to you. Spoke with you about a commercial lot in North Birmingham. I have found two residentials, one in Fairfield, one in Inslee. All right, send them, send them over. Yeah. Um, this is a good question. <laughs> oh, oh, that's my man that um I think mm-hmm. attacked these, I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, they said, What time are you starting now? They're in Houston. <laughs> okay, so we what time know. do we start now? We used to start around four central time zone, which would be Houston's time zone. Now we we have a um a what is this a workout studio next door mm-hmm. and disco at the same time. And <laughs> it sounds like a disco. And so um um because of copyrights, um we think we will not verify, but we think TikTok and Instagram picks those up. 
Mm-hmm. You know, like she might be playing some Van Halen, Prince, Tone Lope. I'm just going on the spectrum to see you all over the place. You know? Van Halen. You ain't know your boy. Let's see. All right. <laughs> Culture. <laughs> and, uh, you know, she's all over the board. You know what I'm saying? Throw some Rihanna, you know, whatever. You know? Yeah. But, uh, uh, hey, name somebody else. Um, she be playing Rihanna. And she be playing Lady Gaga. Uh, but it picked it up in TikTok like banned us one time and then Instagram will just close out of the live. Yeah. So we try to start now with three, three thirty, three twenty. Yeah. So she, yeah, we look at her schedule and we base ours on the office. Yeah. That. So, so yeah. this part of the office slash studio is right up against the wall where, you know, hers is. So, you know, yeah. Yeah. Just tap, tap and the notification bell. The notification so you are alerted whenever we go live <laughs> and when we upload yes. new videos. And you must hit the little bell and hit subscribe. And we do send the text out. So and we do send day. the text out, so you have to be aware when I say, mm-hmm. "Hey, this is Flip Man." Blah blah blah. To, uh, to join, tap the link above. Follow those instructions. Right. So to answer your question, so normally it's between three and three thirty Central Time. Eastern time, that'll be between 4 and 4.30. Uh, mountain time, that'll be between 2 and 2.30. And on the West Coast, uh, 1 to 1.30. We're yep. in that 1-ish, 3, 3.30-ish range or whatever. So, All right. This one also came from Charlie. Um, they said, if I have a seller, if a seller has several different numbers and one says uh, DNC, should I count that as with all numbers? I don't know. I don't know what you're using for that. Uh, if whatever you're using it just identifies DNC by that one number, then it may just be that one number. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know what you, you're using. I wonder, does it show the number? Or does it just say that? No, I think that still shows the number. It just Would you call them? No, you're not legally supposed to call them. No, I would never call them, Jessica. Oh, okay. That, that told me everything I need to know. I would never do that. <laughs> um, this one says, I'm still going through the course, but I don't seem to find any houses. I'm in Atlanta, or I guess I need to go through the whole course first. Yes. yes. Y'all, y'all be having too much dip on your chill. Calm down. Yes. Yes, go through the I, whole that course. That is a very common problem. <laughs> I, I can't help. I'm not that entertaining, but I'm giving you some game that can change your financial life. Go through the whole course. You paid for it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you can't do the Cliff Notes version of this. You got to go through it. I, um, I don't know what else I can do. I get it because, you know, everybody needs money. Right. I get it. Yeah. Um, let's see. Yeah. Oh, we didn't even say what the topic was today. What is it? Um... Can you wholesale something? Oh, oh. <laughs> a house with something. Can you hold can you wholesale a house? Can, can you uh can you wholesale a house if your buyer needs a bank loan? Period. Traditional bank loan. That's the that's the question. All right. Um someone asked how much oh. is the course? Um, well, if you're just getting a course. Uh, it starts out as low as three dollars, but it eventually gradually goes up to about two big ones, two hundred. Mm-hmm. So it just depends on what you want. So it's a continuous upsell. I'm trying, you know, that's what my guys built. We rolled with it. You know, I ain't that ain't. Yeah. But hey, most people are satisfied. Can't satisfy everybody. All right, this is on TikTok. Do you see the market crashing soon? And if so, would it be smarter to wait to the No, why would you wait? Because you can make money when it crashed too. You never watched the um y'all probably haven't. You ever watched Trading Places with Eddie Murphy and the two uh gentlemen with I can't think of what Mortimer and um can't think of their name. Somebody said they were trying to explain to him that they were brokers, they were stock brokers, and how they made money whether the market is doing good or quote unquote doing bad. They make money regardless. That's what we do. Doesn't matter. Okay, they just came back and said to purchase the house. I guess because they said. Oh yeah, you definitely want to wait till it crash to purchase. 
because it's going to be cheaper. It's already starting to correct itself now because the interest rates are going up. It's already starting to people see people were people were being forced, not being forced, but they felt they 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 had to sell uh, because the interest rate was so low that it allowed them to buy more house. But then what it created was people overpaying for houses. You know, they asking four hundred for it. Somebody come in with an offer at five hundred. You know what I'm saying? Just, just uh, everybody ain't broke out here. <laughs> that is for sure. Well, it's a word. They said that's what I was thinking. Yeah, yeah. Smart. All right, they run away. Yeah, the person run away. Let's see. Um, let's go back up real quick. Um, this person said we want to learn how to put more money into our gospel station. Is this feasible? Yeah, this is a great source to do whatever you want to if it takes money. This is a great, this is a great uh, what's the word, Jessica? Um a stepping stone. That too. Um, I was looking for another one. Uh this is a great uh when you're trying to feed, you know, this is great seed money. This can create great um, seed money to do whatever you want to do. That mm-hmm. All right, this one says, if the property is with the real oh estate my. agent, can you still wholesale that property? I hate you. If the property is with the real estate agent, can you still wholesale that property? Look, see, see, can you see. not be eating it? Oh. <laughs> if the property is uh, is, a real, is with the real estate, can you still wholesale the property? Uh, yeah, you can. You just have to understand that process of dealing with an agent. If you do that, yeah, the world is yours. Dealing with an agent. Mm -hmm. Most definitely. All right, we got somebody in the chat. I'm about to add him. Troy. Mr. Battle. What's going on, sir? Oh, you got it, my man. What's happening? I'm all right. My question is, I've been doing a lot of research on uh, probate leads. Uh, I, I found me like a good little list uh, that I pulled up myself on the uh, website called uh, Register of Wills. Um, mm -hmm. Pulled up, you know, pretty much all the uh, updated probates. So, you know, some some probates uh, they have attorneys and some don't. So I've heard from multiple, you know, different channels that it's good to work with an attorney and it's and, and, and the other hand, there's not like you don't want to deal with one without an attorney. But so I'm kind of like want to confuse. I'm like, all right, I, I hear that attorneys could be a valuable asset because they could, you know, use somebody, you know, they give you more leads pretty much. Um, your take, I, I kind of want your opinion on that uh, aspect of. Uh, you know, would you do you speak with probate attorneys, or you know, would you uh, if, would you reach out to the attorney first, or would you try to reach out to the person that own the home now? Oh, I would reach out to the, the owners first, uh, because okay. the, the attorney, and I don't I don't know that I'm just going to assume this. You know, they uh, they probably going to feel uncomfortable discussing that person's situation without them giving permission to discuss it with someone that just calls out of the blue. So you want to go through the person that's at the end of the day is going to make the decision, which is the the uh, the heirs, the potential owners of the property. And if you from that point need to speak to the attorney, they could at least create a warm introduction on, hey, uh, we don't know enough about this. We're going to sell this property to Troy. Um, but, you know, he asked questions we can't answer. Would you be comfortable with speaking with the real way and comfortable? You speak to him and answer all his questions about where we are on this probate. Can they can they sell the home? The potential owner of the home, can they sell the home without well, the attorney? It depends, on, it depends on the state. Like here in Alabama, after, getting, after a certain time frame which is not long after the person has passed if all the heirs are on the same page or oh, they can sell it without going through that that process what they do here is um what that long process let me just say that 
uh, we will sign what they call air, air affidavits. And it's basically you get two people that know the, per the deceased person saying, yeah, these are the heirs of this person. And each person, each heir has to get that in place. And that's all the title company or closing attorney will need. Um, but again, each state is different. I know I, I've done several of those over the years, so you know exactly okay. like that. Okay. Um, do, do you but think the it's the main thing is? To... I'm sorry. Okay, go, ahead. go ahead. I'm sorry. No, no the main thing is number sure. one, contacting the people to see if they want to sell, and obviously sell at a price that makes sense. And then you try to figure out what the details are to get it, the fastest way to get it to that point. Okay. Yeah, you can do yeah, all the research you want to on who the list and all that. You need yeah. to start calling people. Okay. And I'm glad you said that because that was going to lead up to my next question. So, you know, uh, you know, I, I, I purchased the course and um, like I got the lead now. Now I'm trying to skip trace. Um, I, I went on your web, you know, on the course, the script, uh, the skip tracing. Um, the, pretty much the skip tracing um uh, is it still skippable or batch leads good for you well actually both um I'm, I'm i'm a reseller of both but normally with the skip tracing it's um it's it's skip vault normally okay okay all right well i appreciate it sir all right no problem you. keep uh, make it happen I, man. Talk to you. for yes, sure sir. thank you all right i guess we're a topic mm -hmm. okay all right, so we'll go with the topic for today. Uh, can you uh, can your cash buy, can your buyer because they're not a cash buyer? Can your buyer I'm sorry, can you wholesale a house to a buyer that needs a bank loan? All right. Now, obviously, if I say no to this, some people say, I do it all the time. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> but the majority of us, right? And I, I hadn't wanted to figure out because I didn't want to have to jump through those hoops it takes to go through a bank because they can do it or not. But in most cases, the bank is going to control so much of the transaction because they're lending out their money that it, it makes it difficult for you to get paid through an assignment and or a, a double close. Now, on the commercial side of, of the world, it, it's, it's more common. It's not as big of an issue. Do that, but we're talking about residential here, you know, houses in most cases. Plus, the main thing is now, when I say someone needs a bank loan, in most cases, that means someone's buying the house to live in it in a lot of cases, right? Uh, so you, that's not your target anyway, because you want buyers that can buy over from you over and over again and buy from you quickly. My definition of quickly 10 days or less. That's not happening with a bank. Right. And then I just gonna let them, it just it's just more difficult. It, it's, it's possible. But to answer the question, no, you want people to have access to cash. Now, sometimes they use a hard money lender or a private lender, but that's almost like cash because it's still the speed of it. Whereas made the only whereas someone that actually has the cash themselves, 10 days is more than enough time where the hard money lenders involved it may take two weeks or so or whatever, just to go through their process. But for the most part, it's still a lot faster than, than a bank. And plus, they don't care about the assignment and all that. We deal with hard money lenders for the most part. So to answer the question, can you wholesale a house to a buyer that needs a bank loan? It's possible, but technically the answer is no or whatever. And that's not who you're looking for. Again, you're looking for people to buy over and over again from you and fast. Those are cash buyers. No. Boom. All right. So uh, we've been rolling pretty hard here, guys. Um, uh, if you didn't get your questions answered, post them in the comment section of any video. I answer those on a daily basis. Um, this will go into replay mode on all the platforms here. So uh, if you're on TikTok, you're on Instagram, make sure you tap the link in the bio and that'll allow you to access uh, all the free videos and content. If you need a more of a step-by-step -step, uh, instructions on how to do this, text VIP to the number. And uh, that'll get you uh, going in the right direction or it should, should those first nine videos in that playlist. So uh, we got it in. Uh, we mixed, what, two days last week? Mm -hmm. 
Uh, so we're back <laughs> in the saddle and uh, what a new time. So nothing else to be said. Let's get it. We'll see you on the flip side. Text me and I'll text you back. Text me and I'll text you back. You text me and I'll text you back. You text me and I'll text you back. You text me and I'll text you back. TikTok, you don't stop. I will help you make your paper stack. Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Where you at now? 205 964 Yep, yep. 205 964 You know.